Hi, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to show you a quick tip on importing pictures that uh, I'm importing a picture that I'm going to sketch the uh, model, the floor plan from. Uh, that's bad English, but let's get started. Hey, thanks so much for watching, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing. I enjoy the interaction with you all. Would you consider, if you learn something from these videos, would you consider supporting me over on patreon.com slash design build solutions for the price of a cup of coffee each month? That would help encourage me to continue uh, putting out this information for you as I enjoy doing. Let's get into this uh, tip today. Here I've imported a picture of a floor plan and I've already scaled it and uh, drawn the walls around the, uh, around the, the uh, plan. But some of the walls are hard to see and um, it's just distracting. Uh, this, this, it's, it's poorly lit um, and I, I imagine it's probably just taken from a, from a uh, phone camera as good as they are uh, but it's just uh, difficult for me to use here and distracting as I said in the uh, in the dimensions so I thought what if I change maybe can I change the transparency of it you know how you can change the transparency of a polyline Let's, I'm going to draw a polyline and give that a solid fill and uh, you can you can change the transparency of this so that you can kind of see through the uh, through the polyline. Well, let's change that down. You can get it darker. That'd be awesome if I could do that. Well, picture files don't have that transparency option. I can save it in the plan. I can resize it. Uh, I can reorient it with angle and position. Um, I can hit grayscale. That kind of does it. Um, it's still kind of distracting because it's still difficult to see the line, the walls, and the the uh, dimensions. So I can hit black and white dither. Didn't change a whole lot. I'm gonna uncheck grayscale. Yeah, see, black and white dither didn't do a whole lot here. What I can do though is brightness. I've played around with the numbers of brightness and I'm gonna do a 30% brightness. Ah, and see now it's kind of lost some of the, um, some of the grays, some of the yellow toning. And then I'm gonna add a 30% contrast. Now I can really see like just the, the lines and the text um, if you want that, I'm going to take the contrast out. I'm going to go maybe for a brightness of 50. Now it's getting really, you know, um, I don't know what, it, it, less, less visible. 70. It's almost like there we go. It's almost like uh, transparency. 70%. Now, the, now I can see my walls, but the, the information still is there. The other, I mean, the other thing you can do, of course, is turn that layer on and off, uh, put it on its own layer. But um, it it is nice to have some some of the information there, but not all of the information per se. Oh, see, it shows me I'm missing a wall right here. I can do that. It shows me I'm missing a bit of a closet here. And now I can start seeing what areas that I need to uh, need to work on. So picture files as we import pictures into the uh, into the uh, model. I already scaled this one. I will try to put a link up here for a video that I've done previously on scaling picture files like this, whether it's picture or PDF, 
Uh, you can see that video over there. But um, yeah, check out the contrast and brightness option here. All the way up to 70% sets it like this. And um, can, it's useful for, it's really close to what I needed it for, needed it to do and was looking for the transparency, op transparency option. Anyway, thanks so much for watching uh, this week. Hit that like button down there. Hit the subscribe button. Check out my website, www.designbuildsolutionsllc.com. And also, again, please check out patreon.com slash designbuildsolutions to support me over there. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful week. Take care.